Hey guys! It's Joey and Charity here again, and we are so excited to have you back for week two. We have seen all your messages and all your photos coming in, and we absolutely love hearing from you. We hope you've had a great week. How's it been? Make sure that you send us your messages of what you've been up to. Maybe you could type it in the comments and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Woo! Now we're going to praise Jesus. So why don't stand we stand up. to our feet? Let's, go. Let's learn the actions. So this week our song is called My Best Friends, the Creator of the Universe. And in the chorus it goes like this. My best friend's the creator of the universe. Then get out your crazy guitar. Do 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 and keep going. Get that good ear guitar going. Maybe you can get a leg up in the air. Do you ever wonder? Wonder what is beyond this big blue ball? Something under Something underneath the surface of it all There's one million billion planets Spinning out in space Galaxies and galaxies He put them all in place You suck them all in motion All the powers up to me It's such a funny notion To think he cares for me Well it's plain to see
Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. We love you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. For blessing me. For blessing me. With my friends. With my friends. With my family. With my family. And with online church. And with online church. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Do you remember what we learned in week one? Hmm. He created the light in the sky, but I was his guy. I hope you remember that. We were so excited to learn that with you. Well, now's the time where we're going to learn even more. So make sure you get your Bible to ready to learn for week two. God said, hello, light, and light shone into the darkness. God called the light day and the darkness night. You are good, God said, and they were. Then God said, hello sea, hello sky, and a great space opened up wide and deep and high. You are good, God said, and they were. On day two, God created the sky and the sea and everything in between. He did this to separate the heavens from the earth. Now remember, he created the space in between, but he chose me. We are so excited that God loves us more than anything. Now I want you to pay attention, open your eyes, and watch a video all about creation. In the beginning, there was absolutely nothing to see. No earth, no stars, no animals, no light. There was only God. God then decided to create a beautiful world to display his goodness and splendor. He just spoke the words and it came to be. Vast craggy mountains, soaring beautiful trees, crystal lakes and winding rivers, animals of every variety, he placed a massive sun in the sky, warming the earth during the day, and a moon to lighten the night. It was a breathtakingly beautiful creation. But God was getting ready for his greatest act yet, making man. He planned to make man special. Not like the animals, but more in the image of God himself. So he took a bit of clay from the earth and formed man and breathed life into him. There was man, created in the image of God, and God called him Adam. God made Adam like himself, with a mind, with creativity, with wonder, with emotions, and he made him to be happy. Adam learned about all the animals. He played with them and gave them each names. But something was missing from Adam's life. You would think he had it all, but he was missing a human friend, a wife. God made a woman, too. He put Adam to sleep, carefully took one of Adam's ribs, and formed a woman. Now there were two. They were made for each other, to love each other, to keep each other company, and to enjoy this beautiful world and worship God. Life in the garden was beautiful and blissful. It was, quite truly, paradise. Adam and Eve had no worries. God had created them. He took care of them. The animals were peaceful and kind. Adam and Eve had all the food they wanted. They saw beauty wherever they turned. They only had one rule to obey. Don't eat from the tree that stood in the middle of the Garden of Eden. That was God's only request. On the sixth day of creation, God looked at everything he had made and said it was good. On the seventh day of creation, God rested from all his work. Creation was beautiful, and man was in perfect harmony with God. Wasn't that an incredible video? I am so loving learning all about God's creation from week to week. And you know what time it is, it's activity time! 
them. So what we're going to do is you're going to go again and you're going to grab a piece of paper and some drawing pens. So remember, go and find a piece of paper and some drawing pens. And you're going to draw me a picture of the sky and the sea.
don't forget, we want you to hold on to your drawings and send us a photo. So you can send us a photo at our email or you can take a photo and put it in the comments. Don't forget, subscribe. The next thing I want you to do is go to your family tonight and tell them what game you're going to play. All together, you're going to play I Spy. Do you know how it goes? It goes like this. I spy with my little eyes something beginning with... And then you choose a letter of whatever the thing is that you can see in the room. Get your family to play along with you. It'll be fun. We hope you loved week two. And remember, he made the space in between, but he chose me. Now, before we leave today, why don't we all pray together? Close your eyes and repeat after Joey. Father God. Father God. I thank you. I thank you. For all. For all. That you are doing. That you are doing. In my life. In my life. I pray. I pray. That your presence. That your presence. And your peace. And your peace. Go with me. Go with me. In this season. In this season. May you bless my family. May you bless my family. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, that's us for now. Bye. Bye. Darling, we did it. That was